Hear what I say There's a simpler Kind of way Tell me brother Hear what I say There's a simpler Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we'd scuba dive with manta rays at Lady Musgrave Island and watch a baby turtle come into the world. This episode, we show you all about our water maker. The water maker we decided to buy is an AC electric rain man. All right, guys, I just wanted to share with you today our water maker. Uh, a lot of people ask a lot of questions about what water maker, this, that, the other. But um, this is the one we chose, the Rain Man. It's portable. That's one of the reasons we chose it. Um, we wanted to just put it on and go. We didn't want to plumb it in yet, as if we're not sure if this is the boat we will hold on to forever. And it's a um, device that we want to be able to take with us if we do go to another boat, and that's the beauty of it. Um, not to say that it can't be plumbed in. Now this is um, the basic pressure unit here. Pretty much as you see it without a bit of wrapping on it is how you get it from the store uh, or how it is delivered to you. So here we have the pressure unit. Over here we have the membranes, RO membranes, the reverse osmosis membranes. And in here is a couple of lines. Uh, before I go too far into that, the only thing you'll have to do is when you get this, is uh, in here there's a um, an oil cap, which is this one here that needs to be replaced um, with a pressure relief valve as opposed to that. So, um, what else we got? The power supply to it is a 2 kVA um, Honda is recommended. We have a Kipple which struggles, it just does it. It is 2 kVA, but all the trials and whatnot have been done with the Honda, so it does need all of 2000 watts to get started but then has more of around 1600 watts continuous it's okay so as simple as it is it should only be a five minute procedure to make set this up and make some water so what we have here we've got our intake line to uncoil this take the cap off here Got a strainer, just clip that on there, like so. Okay, put that over. Just like that. So these lines here, three lines. So the first line here, that's our product water, which we'll do our test, make sure the water's right before it goes into our tank, which has a cap, which is replaced after use. So I'll just hang that one over. That's our product. This one here is our brine. Take the cap off this one. Put that over there. Okay, and this is our high pressure one. So take that off. Keep all those caps there because I just leave the caps on so there's no water, no mess. Put that on there. So we've got our pressure unit with the line clipped on we got our brine line out there, we've got our intake line there, that will be our product water line, which we'll test in a minute. Here we have our pressure gauge, and we'll be taking that up to 55 bar. So this is our generator, it's a kip ore. It is a 2 kVA generator, but it is only just there as a 2 kVA, as it lags a little bit and may, on the odd occasion, stall on startup being that it needs 2000 on startup and 1600 continuous once it's running which is fine but just the startup so my advice would be definitely to stick with Honda like is recommended with the Rain Man 
so we'll have a go. Start this up. Simple as that. Come over to here. This is our brine line. So at the moment, that's just seawater going through. So, what we'll do. See here, we want to bring that up to 55 bar. So it's just a matter of slowly increasing the pressure by closing it off. rundown of it and here we have it now roughly 10 litres is recommended for the back flush on it so what we're going to do Fresh water being made, so 
I'm going to turn it off just like that. Always make sure you turn it off because you don't want to damage the water pump. So if you pull this out of the water in the process of putting it into the bucket, you're going to have air in the line, which is not good for any uh, water pump, which this one is a impeller driven one. So yeah, no good. Turn it off. I usually take this off here. That's a second. Set there. I'll place that in the bucket. Now that'll be sucking fresh water that I've made through. Now it's very, very important that that is fresh water that you actually run back through and not water out of your tanks that have had um, chlorine and whatever additives that are in our main water's supply, which is going to damage these RO membranes. So that is the biggest thing. Do not run. Uh, mains water through there which has got all the chlorine and chemicals and whatnot you will damage your membranes so you can see that's just about there it's probably about 15 litres they recommend 10 litres we run a little bit extra through because we don't pickle as I said so it's just a matter of getting all that fresh water through the system again we'll give that a couple of minutes just a bit okay you can see just getting down to the last bit of water there, getting siphoned through. So before that runs out, I'll just turn that off. And on the line here, it's the end cap. Stop all that water. Back out. Just like that. that. Generator out. Hopefully, you can hear me now. So, yeah, that was just disconnect those lines, put the caps back on. This one here, which is It'll only be the first time you get the machine and it's important that you change that out. It's four screws here. And it's just a matter of switching this out with a breather plug. So this usually lives under our bed, in our bedroom. And it stays there the whole time. And we just lift up our hatch and put all the hoses and things out either side of the windows. So, and there's the window up here. We just open that up like it is open at the moment. And slide our, our brine line out there and our intake line. And that's it. We run our product line straight to our tank. So one other little thing here that we've got as a spare, which is probably not going to need it, but obviously if you are in a remote spot, I would advise putting it in. As we all know, the impellers do go. There's your impeller kit. Uh, you can order with it. They don't come with it, so that was a separate order. Um, we've got this that comes with it, which is just obviously for changing out your filters. And you will get a couple of filters with it and a basic basic little guide on how to do it or if anyone else does make water on the boat and a manual and here we have it here you also get your pickling solution which is only a matter of putting five tablespoons in with 10 litres and then you're good for um, not 100% sure I think it's like 12 months or more without use so there we have it I didn't want to go in too depth to anything because there's no need to it's just a matter of unwrap it plug it in put it over and start making water it's really easy and it's so worth it hey three hours I think our tank at the back there's 400 liters so give or take three hours and we have filled our tank you know there's a manual to read through filters again everything's just you know you make water in dirty water well you're obviously gonna go through your filters we're out here in these beautiful reefs the water's so clean I hope that they're going to last maybe a month or so. So, yeah, there you have it.
So that's it. Usually I just sit back for the next three hours. Watch my water get made. Oh. Cheers. Hope it's that easy for you making water. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's how we. <laughs> so that's how we make water on Catalpa. Thanks heaps for watching. We um, really love reading your comments. So if you've got any feedback, um, just want to say hi. Tell us something about yourself. Uh, we love reading your comments and we try to answer most of your comments as quick as possible. And um, yeah, thanks heaps for watching. To our latest patrons, uh, we love you. And <laughs> thank you so much to our. <laughs> Thanks to all our patrons. We appreciate your support so much and um, are really, really stoked to have you all supporting us. If you want to support us as well, you can go to our Patreon page. Link is down below. Somewhere down there. <laughs> and you can go onto the page and see what it's all about. And um, so we also have Facebook and Instagram links are on our page and you can follow us there. We update Instagram pretty regularly so if you want to know where we are or what we're doing, keep up to date with the Catalpa crew. Uh, thanks heaps for watching and give us a thumbs up. Bye! Tell me, brother, hear what I say. There's a sin.